This video will be a guide on how to set up the Codex desktop system from the initial unboxing. Please note that there may be minor differences due to adjustments in production and sub-model SKUs. Unboxing your new system. When initially opening the box, you will see a mouse and accessory bag located on top of the Codex system. Remove those items and set them to the side. You will notice that there is a brown box that houses the keyboard. Please remove the keyboard and set that aside as well. The desktop is securely packaged with two black foam cushions. The foam cushions are located on either side of the case. Once the keyboard has been removed, the easiest way to remove the desktop from the box is to tilt the box over and let gravity pull the computer out. Once the desktop has been removed from the box, remove the two foam paddings. The desktop is wrapped in a cloth covering which is held on by two velcro straps towards the bottom of the system. Undo the velcro and remove the cloth covering. Place the desktop on a flat surface and turn your attention to the interior of the system. You will see an inflated foam packaging that is meant to support the interior components during shipping. Please carefully remove the glass side panel by unscrewing the four thumb screws supporting the panel. Once the side panel is off, gently work the foam packaging out of the case. While the side panel is off, you can expect the cables and components to confirm that everything is still firmly seated. General things to check are the cooler mounting points, power cable, memory sticks, and graphics card. After confirming the seating of the components, reinstall the side panel back onto the case and turn your attention to the accessory pack. Setup In the accessory pack, there is a power cable included. Please plug in the cable to the back of the codex system and the other end into the nearest power outlet. Once plugged in, remove the keyboard from its box and the mouse from the packaging. Connect each device individually to the back of the desktop system. We recommend using the top two USB ports located next to the PS2 connector. If you are planning to use the Wi-Fi built into the codex system, you may screw in the included antennas which are found in the accessory pack. Or if you plan to use an ethernet connection, go ahead and plug in the cable at this time. Next, connect your monitor to the graphics card ports which are located under the motherboard I.O. Once everything has been plugged in, hit the power button which is located on the top of the desktop. If everything has been plugged in correctly, you should notice an MSI logo pop up on the display. The monitor will then show a Windows initiation prompt to set up your computer. Please follow the instructions to complete that process. Just a heads up, there are I.O. ports located on the top panel of your desktop. You'll notice a power switch, reset switch, headphone and microphone input, two USB-A ports, as well as an LED button. The LED button controls the RGB components that are connected to the included ARGB controller. To enable Mystic Light software mode, hold that button down until the system's RGB flashes once. Please note that due to the variation of models in production, some motherboards may not be compatible with the included ARGB controller. To disable all the RGB in the case, hold the button down until the RGB flashes twice and the light should turn off. Once everything has been set up, don't forget to register your product on our website!